chapter one. All right. Okay, chapter two. And got it. Chapter three. Chapter four, compare, contrast. And <sighs> done. Feels like enough work for today. <sighs> the unexpected success of the book series has captivated millions worldwide. But as fans eagerly wait the final installment of the Moonlight Magic Trilogy, the question still remains, just who is Georgina Cartwell? Who indeed? While the YA fantasy author has won numerous awards for her first two novels, she has never made a public appearance, prompting speculation that Georgina Cartwell may in fact be a pen name. Hold on. This just in breaking news, Georgina Cardwell has announced on social media that she is two weeks away from completing her third novel. No, no, no. That's right. The third and final book of the Moonlight Magic Trilogy will be delivered to its publisher in two weeks. You heard it here first, folks. In other entertainment news, Hollywood She's insiders... Anna. Okay, 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 okay. Mm. All right, well, first of all, it's my social media account. And who said anything about two weeks? No, I didn't read the contract. Okay, Susanna, I think, yes. I, I, yeah, I, I know how you get when I use your first name. Of course, I'm almost done. I'm like this close. I'm just saying, can you maybe buy me an extra month or two? I mean, isn't that what agents are for? Okay, 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 okay forget it, forget it. Forget I asked, stupid Mel. Actually, I just had a great idea and I think I'm gonna go right. Okay, love you, bye. Where are the blue ones? Hey! Sorry my flight got delayed. Oh, there was this baby screaming the whole way, like right... You know. Melissa! I'm on the patio! I'm home. Hi. Hi, hey, okay, did you know there's like 45% less blue ones in this bag? We're being scammed by Big Candy, can you believe that? I thought you said you were gonna be doing some writing this weekend. Oh, yes, I did say that, and I, I wasn't lying. But you know, I need some unstructured free time to let my creativity run wild. I mean, how else am I supposed to figure out what happened on Ariella's journey or the night of the dark tide if I'm just sitting behind a desk? So you figured it out then? No, that was just, that was an example. Do not make that face. I'm not making a face. You are, you are making that face. You're making that face you make when you're gonna say something serious. I think I need some space from us. Uh, is this a breakup? Why? It's just we're supposed to be this power couple, you know? And lately I've been feeling like I'm in this relationship all by myself. Oh, Jonathan, that, that's just not true. Babe, most days you don't even get out of bed. You, you don't work, I mean, you definitely don't write. I mean, I get home from a business trip and you can't even ask me how it went or say hey, hi. You know, you're right, you're right. And I'm, I'm sorry, I was just distracted, but I wanna know what's going on at the bank. <laughs> you don't work at a bank? No. No, you don't work at a bank. I know you don't work at a bank, at the hedge fund. Tell me what's going on at the hedge fund. It's commercial real estate investment. I've told you a hundred times. Jonathan, that's like, Almost exactly the same thing. Okay, fine, just don't do this. Don't throw away what we have. We're like peanut butter and bacon. Nobody likes peanut butter and bacon. <laughs> I love you, really, I do. I just, I can't, I can't do us anymore. I'm sorry. You'll be okay. Why wouldn't I be? I am a grown woman. Get out the door. No, that is not real! Jack would be like, move over. There's plenty of room for us both on the door. We're supposed to be a power couple. Get up, Jack. Get up. Hello. Um, my uh, lovely. How are you? 
Susanna? It's after five, dear. I'm off the clock. Oh, great. Sorry. Mom, hi. What are you doing here? A mother's job is never done, and neither is an agent's. Not following. Well, honey, I saw that what's his name broke up with you. Who, who, who said anything? Who Shh. said anything? No one said anything. I saw that you posted song lyrics online. I just feel like Beyonce gets me. I know, I read your post. But regardless, he's gone. You're heartbroken. Look at me. We have a deadline to meet. <laughs> okay. Okay, I just, I kind of feel like my grief outweighs the whole career thing right now. I think you're wrong. Because, darling, you signed a contract. A contract that will allow a publisher to seek damages if deadlines are not met. Okay, so we pay a little fine. Sure. You can pay your little fine of a million dollars. What? That's what I thought. So, if you would like to keep your house from being repossessed, I suggest you go upstairs and start packing because I booked us on a 10-day writing retreat. Think of it as the mother-daughter trip we've never taken. Okay, <clears throat> so you and me together on vacation. You know how I feel about rhetorical questions. Don't like them. So go upstairs, start packing, and put I on some deodorant, please. Mom, I'm... Fine. Ugh. <sighs> Really? An olive farm? I mean, why not like a private library or something? Darling, your final book is set in a magical forest. So this is your inspiration. Mm, okay, now where is my cell phone service? Darling, don't dawdle under the sun. It'd be a nightmare for your forehead wrinkles. My forehead what? Welcome to the Babbling Brook Farm. Checking in, I'm guessing. Yes, the name is D E E. Let's see, D. So you've got one deluxe suite and one basic room. Perfect. We'll just need a card on record. I know. Is this made of stone? Slate, actually. Tell the bellhop to bring the bags up to the room. Thank you. Your room is upstairs on the oh, left. Darling, we have a tasting tonight. Seven o'clock and do not be late. Oh, and wear that cute top mommy packed for you. Uh, oh. Yeah, we don't have a bell up. Yeah, sorry, she is a lot. Oh, is that the, um... It's the first Moonlight Magic book. I'm rereading it. I know it's YA, but Georgina Carwell's just on another level. You just get completely sucked into her world, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I wish I could get sucked into a fantasy world right now. I could probably upgrade your room. I mean, it's not like we have many guests staying here right now. Really? Yeah. I'm Colleen, by the way. Hi. Correct. Yeah, 458 pages. Okay, thanks so much. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry, I am late. I was on the phone with a publisher. Oh, were you working on extending the deadline? Darling, it's dinner time. Mommy's off the clock. Okay, fine. Let's get this wine tasting started, huh? I could use a couple hours to turn my brain off. Uh, Garcon? Ah, uh, yes. Hello, and welcome to the Babbling Brook Farm. My name is Ben Pulley. I am the owner, but I'm also going to be your guide on your journey through the wonderful world of olive oil. Uh, oh, uh, what happened to the wine tasting? This is an olive oil tasting. We're at an olive farm. Uh, right, yeah, no, I, I know it's an olive farm. Thank you. I'm so sorry, you have to forgive my daughter. A recent breakup has seemed to have scrambled Mom. her brain. Darling, please continue. Right, well, this is olive oil number one. Olive oil number one, that's some creative branding. It is a cold press, extra virgin olive oil that is derived from Mission olives, which are in fact the most popular of the Californian varieties. So we tend to plant our Bikini and Frontolio varieties around all of the Mission trees to give them that extra punch come springtime. Okay, can we just um, try the olive oil? Charlie, let the man talk. 
The difficult part is getting the pH levels of the soil just right, because you're dealing with slightly basic, slightly alkaline levels. I do actually have a saying to help remember. If you're eight and above, easy up, bruv. If you're 7.5 or down, turn that ship around. Wow, okay, I'm sorry, but I am way too hungry Melissa. for this. Melissa. Uh, uh, Ma'am, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's balsamic vinegar on your bread. Would you like any olive oil on your next bite? I'm good, thank you. Mom? Yes? Dinner has been great. Wait, as always. Ben. Darling, mommy needs pages in the morning, okay? Mm-hmm. Charming. This, Mel. All you have to do is write. The beginning started at the beginning with a prerequisite. Excuse me, is this seat taken? Uh, yes, my husband is sitting there, actually. He must be bringing your wedding ring. Well spotted. You just earned yourself a seat. Prego. All right, I will humor you since you are sitting there staring at me. What is it that you do? Sergio. Sergio? Is that the measure of a man? The title on his business card? Is that a deflection? I have done many things. Seen the world, owned businesses. Now I'm just enjoying the twilight of my youth. I hate to break it to you, but I think your youth is um, far behind you. Or sitting right in front of me. That is the start of my work day. Pleasure to meet you, Sergio. I did not manage to catch your name. I didn't throw it. How is it? Well, the good news is it's not all of not. Good news is no absence of bad news, my friend. Yeah, and there's bad news. All the flies have gotten into the crop. Kaizol, I knew they would return. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to harvest the olives early this year. Any idea how to hold them off until then? As I told your parents, a fight against the flies is a fight against time. But I know how to make traps. All I need is some milk, some anchovies, some urine. Right, I can help you with the first two. But how about the capitalist banker, Mr. Ben, huh? I mean, earlier harvest means less oil, means less money. He is coming next week, and we just have to convince him to refinance the loan, or otherwise... The flies, they will win. Yeah. Hi. <gasps> Sorry. Oh my god. I, I, was, I was just gonna see if you'd seen my mom anywhere. Were you writing something? No. Yes. I mean, okay, so my college doesn't have a creative writing major, which is what I really wanna do, so I'm trying to write some short stories in my free time. But like, it's super frustrating because I feel like there's this giant gap in quality between what I like to read and what I actually write. Ha. Huh. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, no, totally makes sense. I mean, you either feel like an idiot or a complete fraud. And then you start going down the rabbit hole of will anyone actually even read this? I know, right? Wait, so you're a writer too? Uh, yes. But um, I'm really more of a reader. If you want someone to give you notes, I'm happy to give it a read, if you're interested. Definitely interested. I knew it wasn't very good. Well, no, 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 don't get me wrong. It's a good sentence, it just, it's kind of lost. Every paragraph should have one core sentence that drives the whole thing. You're really good at this. <laughs> like, 
professional level good at this. <laughs> yes, she is. If only she would just apply herself. Oh, hi, Mom. How are you? Oh, I am 12 minutes behind schedule, thanks to you. Right, I got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, hey, look, I really, really like your style. So as soon as you have a short that you're proud of, just let me know. I'll definitely give it a read. Can I give you one now? Yeah, of Melissa. Okay, I have a mother-daughter work thing, um, but can I leave it here and I'll grab it later and I'll read it as soon as I can. Yeah, thank you. Okay, of course. Let's go. I'm coming. Oh, Melissa. Okay, you said you wanted pages. I'm sorry, it's my fault. I should have specified. I wanted quality pages. Okay, they're not that bad. I feel like they're not that bad. Mom, 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 don't put on your age of class. <clears throat> Ariella wondered what she would have for breakfast. Who cares? The elven pastries looked delicious. Their dough perfectly crisp, flaking at even the slightest touch. But she would be a fool to ignore the warm welcome of the lumberry porridge. You go on like this for six, seven pages. Okay, well I just felt like maybe if I riffed a little bit, an actual story would start flowing. Let me be frank. As your agent, you have nine days and zero viable words. And both of our careers writing on the outcome of this. So if I were you, I would start writing and I would start writing fast. Okay, mom, it's just, it's not that easy, all right? I'm, I'm really trying to be the person you want me to be, but I, I'm just not mom. one of those people who can wake up and sit down and start working. And with the breakup and the pressure of this deadline, I just, I really don't think I ever will be. <gasps> well, then we will just find somebody who is. Meet me at the patio in one hour. What are you doing? What I do best, deal making. Mr. Polly! Don't want to know. Oh, Mr. Polly! Mr. Polly? Miss D, um, <laughs> how can I help? I have a business proposition for you. Do you remember my daughter? Vinegar Girl. Yeah, Vinegar Girl. She needs help finishing a manuscript about a magical forest. The problem is she's a bit lazy, wholly unorganized, and... And all around unpleasant. Yes, I remember. Well, just so you know, between us, She's a best-selling author, like best. She is? Mm -hmm. What makes you think that I could help her? Well, I can see that you are meticulous and you are process-driven. In essence, you are everything that she's not. And you happen to know something about trees. You do know this is an olive grove, not a magical forest. I know that. Mel doesn't. She hasn't been out of place like this ever. Besides, I think you two have some real chemistry. Regardless, my offer still stands. You help her finish her manuscript, and in exchange, we will use her influencer status to help give this place some much needed PR. Maybe you can even pull it out of whatever downward spiral it's currently in. The farm is doing just fine, thank you. Please, I'm an agent. I can practically smell the financial desperation. Desperation doesn't smell. Really? Huh, oh, I think it might smell like, yep, yeah, it smells like moldy olives. Nope. 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 No, 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 no. No, mom. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No offense to you, but no. Reject. Mm -mm. Are you done? Good, because I want you to think very carefully about what you're going to say next, because Ben here agreed graciously to help you. He is detailed, he is ordered, and he happens to know something about trees. So, all you have to do is post something nice about his farm. Agreed? Good. I'll leave it to you two to make a schedule. Great. Okay, um, so we don't really need to do this. It's actually not that bad of an idea. It's literally the worst idea. I mean, how are you supposed to help me write? You're a farmer. You're not a writer. And in case you haven't noticed, my entire life is writing on this book. Yeah, and so is my entire farm. I'm gonna level with you. Do I wanna be doing this? No. But right now, I'm desperate. And everything I've done up until this point has clearly not been working, and it seems like the same is true for you. Look, I am not gonna teach you how to write. You already know how to do that. But what I can teach you how to do is sit down and focus, because that is the one thing in my life that I am actually good at. So you think you can help me write 100,000 words in nine days? That's 11,000 words a day. If 
we have you writing from nine to five, that's just a little over 1,300 words an hour. And yes, I do think I can help you reach that. Or we both crash and burn in the process. <laughs> Fine. It's a deal. Let's get started. Okay, this okay. doesn't really even make any sense. It makes all the sense. I don't understand why we actually have to go to my room. This what is does happening. That have? Okay, can you just slow down first? Okay, we, just, uh, we don't really need to do this, right? To figure out a solution, I first have to diagnose the problem, and that means seeing your work environment. No, uh, hmm. Maybe we do it a different day. Another day, mm -hmm. like one of the nine that you have left. Okay, fine, 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 fine. It's just, I, I, I haven't really had a chance to unpack. It's not the best time right no, now. No, and no, no, excuse me. Yes, no, 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 I haven't had any time to. Uh, uh, how did you, why? Uh, part of the creative process. Okay, so I had a bit of a meltdown last night. I tried to write something half decent, and by the end, I wanted to curl up and die. In a blanket for it? Well, no, it's actually more like a blanket mausoleum. Okay, either way, this has to go. It has cathedral ceilings. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. Wow. Okay, but I will do it. Okay, that's you. Seriously? Yes. Goodbye, old friend. You're a monster. <sighs> okay. What now? Let's begin. So, it's called automatic writing. In the olden days, spiritual mediums would utilize this technique to try to speak to the dead. They thought anything they wrote down while wearing the blindfold was coming from a nearby spirit. <laughs> so, um, you want me to talk to ghosts now, right? Blindfold back on, please. The blindfold lets you block out external stimuli and access your subconscious. If you're having writer's block, this will let you bypass any conscious objections. You're just gonna write whatever comes down to your fingertips. Got it? Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, so okay, okay. little help, uh -huh. little help. Right Is it now. over here? No, it's right in front of you. Right. So I just write anything? Anything at all. So we just say, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm okay. Okay. It's all good. You okay? Yeah. Darling, how's it going? Ah, well, I've written zero words and I nearly killed a man. So what do you think? I think you're finally learning what it's like to be a woman in the workforce. <sighs> now sit down, do try to enjoy a meal with mommy. So, how's it going? Mm. It is going horribly. He's an annoying know-it-all. It's all about productivity this and efficiency that, and it's not helping. I was actually talking about your breakup. Oh, I just, we don't normally talk about that kind of thing. Darling, mommy's off the club. We can talk mother-daughter things, so tell me. Are you finally over what's his name? Okay, <laughs> what is your deal with Jonathan? He was a nice guy. Please, Melissa. He wanted a status symbol, and when he found out he got a DIY project, he left. Wow, okay, so um, are you saying that I need to be fixed? I am saying that, oh dear, here he comes. Look away, look away. Is that the guy you told me about? Um, sir, hi, would you like to join us? Who could turn down such beautiful company? <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, two can play this game. <laughs> Thought I'd find you here. Is there cheese in this? Aw, that's a nice way to say thank you. But I just... Thank you. So, how's the yield this year? Not great. All of flies got into the crop. Which means... Moldy olives. Yeah. Hey dude, technically half this farm is mine. I do know how things work. So what are we gonna do? 
Well, we are either going to harvest early or wait and see if the flies spread to all the trees. Either way, not going to be producing a lot of oil this year. Hey. Remember that time Dad forgot he left half the harvest in the loft? And all the olives started decomposing? Yeah. And all the moldy oil started dripping from the floodboards? Dude, it actually got in my hair. So gross. Point is, no matter how bad things get around here, you'll never run this place worse than him. Famous last words, Colleen. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. So there I was, staring into the belly of the beast, the lion's jaws opened wide, its teeth sharp and white. It slowly sticks its tongue out. I felt death approaching. And then, huh? it licked me. Oh, it licked you. It's with a tongue like sandpaper. If raised by humans, lions are actually quite friendly. But that is the joy in life, no? To be almost mauled to death by an exotic animal? No. Finding love and compassion in the most unexpected of places. Another bottle for the table, please. <clears throat> Actually, you know, I think that I, I am good. <sighs> OK. All right, uh, Mom, I'm going to go. I'm going to go right. I will see you in the morning. And Sergio, very nice to meet you. Shall we move on to the Pinot Noir? I was actually thinking we should move on to dessert. One more try. <sighs> Ariella's journey into the forest was a journey into the unknown. And by all accounts, she should have been terrified. And she was. But she knew she wasn't making the journey alone. Thinking. What is that? Good morning. Rise and shine. Give me that. It wasn't that bad. All right. Maybe I went a little bit overboard. But you do know that waking up early is part of being productive. It's about keeping a schedule. Come on. We can get breakfast. It's free. Really? Like actual words? Yes, like actual bona fide, a lot of words. Wow. I thought that the, the blindfold thing was literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Okay, a little harsh. Okay, but it worked. It did, it, it really worked. Well, that's great. Uh, we just need to keep the words flowing. Make sure your mind is in the optimal creative state. Optimal what now? Have you heard of the gut-mind connection? It's the belief that not only can your brain influence your stomach, but actually your stomach can influence your brain. Okay, um, so you want to make me more productive by controlling what I eat. Exactly. Do women like you? Uh, Hi. And for you? <laughs> hmm. Um, Ben, hmm? question. Do I look like a Victorian street wave to you? No. No, no. So why are you feeding me gruel? OK, first off, this is not gruel. This is called biofuel. And it is nutritionally complete. No, 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 no. Do not lie to me. That 
That is slop. Okay. And I'm not gonna eat it. But I am gonna order the waffles. Don't, yeah. don't, don't, Hi. don't order the waffles, oh, please. No. Just, I'm so, I'm so sorry. <clears throat> Do you mind if I send this back and get the waffles instead? Oh, thank you. Oh, and can I have ice cream on top of it? Mm, I feel sick. If only there was a readily available explanation for that. I could be lactose intolerant. I could be. Let's just get started. Presenting the Idea Matrix, a trademarked workflow solution that breaks down the writing process into 42 KPIs. Let's say you want to map the progress of one of your side characters. The first thing you're going to do is select one of the 25 structural functions and then cross-reference that with one of the seven main character archetypes. Uh, ben. That's going to be denoted right here by the red string. But do not confuse that with the blue string because the blue string is how you make it. Ben. <sighs> do you want me to? Explain the structural functions again? No, this is this is insane. It's like the Zodiac Killer tried his hand at arts and crafts. Oh, well, maybe you just don't understand it because this is a logical step. No, step. no, 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 no. That is not gonna help me write. Because you've been so good at that before my methods. Can I see that for a second? Sure. Great. It's not like I spent all night making this for you. Ben, can... <sighs> oh dear. If you're gonna comment on my appearance, please don't even bother, okay? I look how I feel, and I feel like a human dumpster fire. Oh, I believe this is what the kids refer to as a hot mess. It's actually pretty good. I know. You didn't get your witty jeans from your father. So where are mommy's pages? Desk. Desk. Oh. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Well, honey, the quality is good. But the quantity. I know, I didn't write today. Melissa, don't give me that face, Mom. Okay, look, I felt like I had it yesterday. Like the words were just flowing out of me. And then today with this whole stupid bulletin board thing, I just, I feel like a fake. Honey, you are not a fake. You are Georgina Cartwell. <laughs> exactly, she speaks fluent French and vacations in Marseille. And I can't even roll my R's. I am just, Mel, the girl who apparently can't write anymore and just lashes out on anyone who tries to help her. I understand now. This, this is all about Ben. Let me tell you a secret, honey. Conflict isn't always bad. Pressure isn't always bad. That's how diamonds are formed and steel is forged. And it's exactly how I got you extra percentage on your residuals. I thought you threatened to sue. My point exactly, conflict. Now look. I know that you don't think your arrangement with Ben is working, but these pages right here are proof of just the opposite. So I need you to get up and go make up with Ben because the clock is ticking. Go. Out. Please don't tell me you're making another org chart. What? No, this... Actually, can I have your advice? It's like some psychotic AI tried to create a Moonlight Magic fan fiction. What is this? This is for Mel. The woman with the terrifying mother. She's Georgina Cartwell. What? Do not mess with me. Are you serious? That's Georgina Cartwell. Shh! Car her mom is terrifying, and she's definitely gonna sue me for telling you. Are you helping you know who finished her last book? <sighs> Answer the question! Yes, yes. Okay, I am going to help her finish the book. She's gonna promote the farm, and we hopefully won't go bankrupt. But every time I try to actually help, I just mess it up. Okay. Real talk, dude. This isn't how creative people work. There's no formula for inspiration. Okay, if you want to inspire an artist, you need to get them out into the world. Have them explore, live a little. And 
I live a little, you mean. Oh, you're so useless. Okay, here. These are her first two books. The final one will be set in a magical forest. We have 396 olive trees outside. If you want to inspire her to write, start there. Think you can manage? Yeah. Yeah, I can manage that. And read the books, dude. Come on, this isn't amateur hour. This is Georgina freaking Carwell. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> huh. Not bad. Expecting. Oh wait, Ben. Hang on, I just had my retainer in. Hey, I'm really sorry. Okay, I, I know you were just trying to help, and I trashed your bulletin board because I don't know. I think it made me feel anxious. I'm supposed to be this brilliant writer, right? And I was just standing there thinking, oh, is this how you're supposed to do it? Have I been doing it wrong this whole time? And I don't know. I think I just kind of snapped. It wasn't cool. Honestly, I totally deserved it. I don't know why I tried to break down the writing process into 42 KPIs. Yeah, I still don't know what that means. Oh, it's a key perform- You know what? Forget about it, they don't matter. They don't? You know what? Instead of forcing you to write today, let's go outside, see if inspiration strikes you that way. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, so we're hanging milk cartons on the trees because it... Why? Uh, there's no actual milk in them. They're fly traps. Ah. Oh, my. I'm sorry. What is that? It smells like a public toilet. Uh, best to not get into that. Okay, how about you take those trees over there and I'll get the ones here. Okay. I can hang it anywhere, right? Yeah, anywhere you find, just like that. See? Ooh. Why don't you just use pesticides? I mean, isn't that what most farmers do? Yeah, my parents use pesticides, but it's pretty hard on the trees and even harder on the wallets. Really? Yeah. Every time it rains, you have to reapply all the pesticide and it adds up pretty quick. All right. Done with your tree over there? Done. Super easy. Good. Because we've got 386 more traps. What? Okay, I'm done. Done, and I need shade. Oh, Why is the shade so bad? You have to trim the branches in the center of the tree. That way, more light can hit the branches beneath it. The more light that hits the tree overall, the more olives it produces. You know you're kind of a know-it-all. Has anyone ever told you that before? Pretty much my entire life. Water? Yes, thank you. <laughs> you know what's actually crazy? Is I'm kind of having fun splitting my butt off. Really? <laughs> of course, now I get service. What's wrong? Just an email from Susanna. Apparently the Times is doing an article on the cultural impact of the Moonlight Magic series. It's great. Isn't that a good thing? Yeah, yeah, I guess. It's just I spend all my time trying to write this book. You know, I would love to go one full day without having to think about Miss Regina Cartwell. All right, I've got an idea. How about today we completely forget about the book and go somewhere fun? <laughs> I think Susanna would have an aneurysm. I won't tell if you won't. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, let me get a few things together and then meet me back at the barn in like 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. Wait, there's a barn? Wow. Okay, so we are going full horse and plow with this. Ooh, okay, okay, so what are we gonna do first? Are, are, are we gonna churn some butter? Um, or milk a cow? This is an olive farm. Remember, we grow olives. Then why have the barn? What? 
You have horses? It's literally on the front page of the welcome packet. Nobody reads those. Uh. Hi. First time in a stable? How can you tell? Well, let me introduce you to your first horse then. This is Spencer, basically the golden retriever of ponies. And he is gonna be your horse for the day. My, my what? Yeah, you're gonna be riding. Oh, no, no, I'm not gonna, no, I don't need to, I don't need to actually ride. Don't you wanna know what it's like to ride a real horse? What, didn't Ariella say that there is nothing more freeing than riding a horse with the wind at your back? Oh, you've read my books? Yeah, stayed up all night reading them. But seriously, what happened on the night of Dark Tide? I don't know, everyone keeps asking me that, like I know the answer. I don't know. You'll figure it out. So, wanna see if Ariella was right? Yeah. That's good. All right, you can ease up on the reins a bit. Yeah, but how do I drive her? I, or, I mean, steer, steer. You, uh, you ride a horse. And just feel it in your leg. Just feel it in your thighs. Just give a squeeze the direction you want to go, and Spencer's a good horse. He'll know what to do. OK. Yeah. All right, I'm doing it. Yeah, that's it. All right, you ready for something a little more advanced? Advanced meaning? Meaning a canter. Canter, like, faster? Yeah, no. just a little bit. No, 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 I would literally die. Okay, and this is where we stop. Good job. Good girl. Ooh, what are they eating? Uh, vetch. It's a type of wild bean. Topsoil erosion is a big problem for farmers out here. Overworking the land disrupts the soil structure. One big rain and half your topsoil is rushing down river. To avoid that, we've been trying to let the farm grow wild. Plus, vetch adds nitrogen back into the soil. These flowers are pretty to look at, too. <laughs> you are just a giant nerd, aren't you? Massive, huge nerd. <gasps> okay, I have the best idea. Um, here, you got this, uh, right? Okay, uh, thanks, yeah, yeah sure. just hold that. Okay. Thank you. All right, come on, guys. <laughs> Whoa, Mel, where are you going? Come on, hurry up. Mel, Mel, where are you going? Mel. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. It's warm enough. Wait, are you crazy? You just have to jump. <laughs> get in. I, I did three swimsuits. You don't need one. Just get in. We're being spontaneous. OK, uh, on the count of three. One. Two. Two and a half. Three. Uh, OK, OK. Go. Uh, <laughs> You do know I had actual activities planned for today that didn't involve jumping into the Arctic water. <laughs> okay, it was, first of all, balmy, lukewarm. Mm, yeah. Mm. And second of all, you had fun. Don't even pretend like you didn't. <laughs> okay, so what is this all for? Uh, these are from Colleen. I thought it'd be a good idea to do one of those painting sessions where you paint what inspires you. Hmm. You know, help you see the enchanted forest for the trees. Mmm, I see what you did there. Okay, let's paint. Here you go. Terrible painters. <laughs> no, they're not that bad. Okay, fine, they're they are bad. not great. Mm. But hey, art is not about being good or bad. It is, it is about expressing yourself and wrangling with the universe to distill one essential truth, even if it's only true for you. I mean, okay, here, look. Look at this olive that you were making, and I mean, really look at it. Now tell me that you weren't trying to capture one specific emotion when you made it. I was trying to paint a man's neo-olive, but it kind of looks like a hairy lemon. What? I hate you so much right now. Really? Yeah. Because I was about to see if you wanted anything to eat. 
I take it all back. Here, try this. It will blow your mind. Mm. <gasps> no way. Right? What is in that? Olive preserves with lemon and ginger. It's an old family recipe. Super easy, but super delicious. So good. So how long has your family had this farm? Three generations, but my mom and dad did their best to try to make it two. They weren't exactly in tune with the land. Or the business, for that matter. Is, is that why you started the resort? Yeah. Olive trees take five years to get healthy again, and so I thought I could stave off the impending financial doom by opening up the resort. Little did I know that nature would have other ideas. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. The flies are eating into the crops and the profits. And if I can't convince the lenders to refinance the loan next week, I, I, I could lose all this. Jeez. I, I had no idea. That's so serious. I had no idea. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Look, this farm is beautiful. These olives are insane. All you really need to do is show people how incredible this place is. You know, use a little creativity. Give them the old razzle-dazzle. You're right. I'm doomed. No, no, no. Okay, close your eyes. Okay. Now, I want you to take a bite. But before you do, I want you to think about everything you love about this place. Everything you saw in it as a kid. And then, I want you to take that emotion and try and distill it into the description of the olive oil. Okay, uh, yeah, I, I can do that. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Woo! Mm -hmm. It tastes like early season calamari. <laughs> okay, um, yes. Mm. But now more of the flavor and the feeling behind it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. It's kind of earthy, mm -hmm. like a warm summer rain. Yes. Oh, but also rich, like like brown butter. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> You're doing it. See, I told you, you just need a little creativity. <sighs> you can do this. I know you can. Bad leaving them. Are you sure they're okay in here by themselves? Oh, yeah, okay I've got something for them. Nice. Music? <laughs> Even horses need something to help them sleep. That's fair. <laughs> hey, can I ask you something? Sure. It's not just the breakup, is it? Why you're not writing the book. I mean, your ex broke up with you last week and you've spent, what, the last two years writing the book? Mm. <laughs> A little more. So what's going on? I don't know. It's like I created Georgina Cartwell to be this impossibly perfect version of myself. Right, like she's sophisticated and she travels the world and makes it look easy. And every time I sit down to write this book, I just feel like people are gonna finally see through it all. You know, they're gonna see me for who I really am. Just Mel. What's so great about Georgina Cartwell anyway? No, really, what's so great about her? I mean, to me, she's stuck up and pretentious, but you, Mel, you're amazing. You're spontaneous and funny and you're brilliant. You, not Georgina Carbo. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm asking you something I would never ask Georgina Carbo. Melissa D, would you like to dance? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think you were a dancer. 
I, I still don't think that I am, so, you know? <laughs> You might be the last person in the world I would have thought could dance. That would make two of us. You know what you should do? You should throw a party. No, like a festival. Do I look like a party kind of guy? I am serious. Okay, just hear me out. You can make a whole event out of it. You could invite the bankers to come and impress them and you know, show them how truly magical this place can be. That's... Actually, not a bad idea. If we picked the olives early, before the flies got to them, we could use this year's harvest and put it on the tables. Call it a harvest festival. We sell tickets. And if we said Georgina Cartwell was gonna be there, people would definitely come. Yeah, we, we could say that she's making a big announcement about her final book. That would mean telling the world that you're Georgina Cartwell. <sighs> I mean, maybe I'm sick of her getting all the credit. What's so great about Georgina Cartwell anyway, right? Um, I should, I should go, um, uh-huh, I should go, um, right, right now. I mean, I'm, I'm going to write right now, but you understood, so I will see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll, I'll... see you tomorrow. <sighs> okay, let's write. So this will be the main area for the festival, and I was thinking that we could do maybe a half dozen high top tables here where people could set their drinks down, and then in the back we'll bring some chairs so we can, you gonna write this down? When you say festival, do you mean like a giant party or? Your skepticism is duly noted. Sorry, but you weren't exactly Mr. Life of the Party in high school. Okay, then help me out here, Colleen, with the festival. Come on, it is a good idea. We're gonna pick the olives early and then, wow, the bankers with some good food and wine. It was Mel's idea. It's such a good idea. I love it. Okay. Now write this down. Okay. We're gonna have tables there. Buffet's gonna be back here. And through the fog and the mist, she saw the blood red moon rise over the blackened sea. And whether this was a dream or a memory, she knew one thing for certain. This was the night of the dark tide. It's true. Where I'm from, you can see the ocean from your doorstep. So blue, it's like a liquid sapphire. You could come visit if you like. Are you inviting me on another vacation? A vacation, mm -hmm. maybe. Yes. Or maybe something a little more... Hey, guys. <clears throat> well, hi. Impeccable timing, dear. Oh. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I just, I thought you were on the clock because, you know, it's 1.30. No, it is not 1.30, it is 1.30. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess time escaped me. A beautiful thing. We could just finish this later. Arrivederci. Arrivederci. Pages. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's see, what do we have here? I like him. I think he's a good influence on you. Darling, please, I'm trying to focus on the pros. Wait, did you figure out what happens the night of the dark tide? I did. did? Mm -hmm. It just came to me last night. Okay, every hundred years, the blood red moon rises, creating this massive ecological disaster. And millions and millions of little bugs rise from the ocean floor and they start consuming anything that produces magic, including the, encha the enchanted forest. Spoiler alert, darling, I haven't gotten that far yet. I'm sorry, I'm just excited. On a different note though, why don't you join us for dinner tonight? I thought you two have been enjoying your date nights. We have, but I miss you at the dinner table. Hey, invite Ben. Make a double date. Ben? Yes. No. No. Would he even want to do that? Regardless, I will see you two at dinner. Hello. Oh, hey. 
What is this place? Welcome to the Frontoyo. It means all press in Italian. Ah. So how's it work? This bad boy? Oh, please don't say that. Oh, uh, well, this is a milling machine. Back in the olden days, they would use these giant millstones, but they couldn't regulate the temperature. If the olives get about 26 degrees Celsius, then it ruins the flavor. Oh, uh, speaking of flavor, I have something I want to show you. Olive oil number one, Spring Garden. A light, delicate olive oil with floral notes that reminds you of the sun dappling over the trees. I wanted to try a little rebranding before the festival. I'll give the bankers a little a razzle dazzle. The branding is perfect. Huh. Hey, um, random question, and totally no pressure to say yes, but um, would you want to join me and Susanna and her new beau for dinner tonight? Like a sort of double date thing? No, 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 no. It's not a double date. It's it's more like a a mother daughter Italian. You can just say no. Yes. Like, really? Yeah, it sounds fun. Okay. Um, okay. So I'll meet you in the lobby at seven? Perfect. Hear that sound, Mr. Ben? It's the sound of Cupid's arrow, and you've been hit. No, nobody has been hit, and it shouldn't you be out harvesting the olives? So I take lunch, big whoop. But tell me, my friend, what would you wear for uh, your big date? It's not a date. I think you need help picking outfit. And Alexi is just the man. What do you think about Chambray? Melissa? Jonathan. <laughs> wow, you, you look incredible. <laughs> so wh wh what are you doing here? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? I'm on a writing retreat. I mean, what are you doing at my client's farm? Your client? Remember commercial real estate? The firm is interested in lending to this distressed olive farm. And the business model really isn't great. They got low margins and a lot of tax problems, so I've got to go there on Thursday. Really? But hey, I can get you some olive oil from the babbling Brooks farm if you want. Yeah. Ooh, could you get me one of those little novelty shot glasses from the airport, though? Yeah. It's uh, pretty weird us meeting here, huh? Yeah, Jonathan, you broke up with me after three years together. It feels a lot worse than weird. Yeah, that's fair. Hey, when I came home that day, I panicked and, and I hurt you. And Mel, I'm, I'm really sorry about that because I, I never wanted to do that. You know what? It, in all fairness, I was spiraling pretty hard. Really, I, I don't blame you. Looks like you seem to have pulled yourself out of that. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Really? Mm. Or are you all dressed to go to dinner? Oh, it, Susanna. You know what, why don't I tag along? You could take it as me extending the proverbial olive branch. It's definitely a date. It's not a date. Then why are you wearing that? Because Alexi wanted to play America's Next Top Model. Hi, hey, I'm so, so, so sorry I'm late. Um, something came up and I just- I'm... No worries, I'm just glad you're here. Ben, buddy, how you doing? Um, Jonathan came up. He is um, my ex. Your ex? Your ex is my banker? Small world, right? Hey, you coming to dinner with us? <laughs> Starving. Hi, Mrs. D. It's been too long. Bring it in. Jonathan, hi. Forgot you were a hugger. Great. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan, pleasure to meet you. Hello, my name is Sergio. Sergio, is that a Romanesco accent that I'm hearing? Yes, very impressive. 
So you're Did familiar. You take him back yeah, I picked up on her right away. I've spent a lot of time in Italy. Uh, all right, send everyone, such please. Ah, uh, right. Uh, oh, 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 Ben, please, you take the seat. You're the guest. Thanks, man. Don't <clears throat> well, you take it. I'll just grab a chair. Great. So they wanted a hundred million. I said, we won't do more than 80. Close the deal, made partner. Excuse me. Could we uh, get another bottle of the Cabernet Sauvignon for the table, please? Thank you. And uh, could I get a tonic water? Jonathan, it's such a shock to see you here. Oh, believe me, Mrs. D, I'm just as shocked as you are. But Ben and I have been doing business for quite a while. I wouldn't say wild. Oh, come on, don't be modest, Ben. It's been three years. Our company lent Ben the money to uh, <clears throat> turn the farm around. But that harvest festival that I'm hearing about, I like that. That's a good idea. But really, what I'm most impressed with is Mel. She told me she's on track to finish her book. And of course, I always knew she was brilliant. To the triumphant return of Georgina Cartwell. She's not Georgina Cartwell. I mean, obviously she is. I, uh, um, so oh, sorry. Everyone, excuse me. Um, he's probably just under a lot of stress with the Harvest Festival. I'm just gonna go check on him quickly. Hey. Hey. So what was that about? It's just, when were you gonna tell me? Tell you what, exactly? I don't know, that your ex-boyfriend is my banker? Technically, he works in commercial real estate. <sighs> okay, I still don't know the difference. Why does it matter? Why does it matter that you're cavorting with the enemy? Okay, cheap shot. Why do you care who I date? Ben, what is going on? Just talk to me. Nothing. Honestly, I'm fine. I'm just stressed. I'm stressed about you finishing the book. I'm stressed about the festival. I'm, I'm stressed about getting the Georgina Cartwell seal of approval. So you're worried about Georgina Cartwell? No. No. Yes. I don't know. I... The festival's coming up, and you're so close to finishing, but I don't want to lose my farm just because you can't live up to being Georgina Cartwell. Wow, I, um, you know, I expected this from Susanna, not from you. Yeah, I actually thought that you saw me for me, but apparently you just see Georgina Cartwell too. Well, guess what, Ben? I don't need anyone else in my life trying to manage her. Mel! Wait! Um, yeah, sorry. Um, something came up with the festival, so Ben had to leave. Well, um, not to be a stick in the mud, but Sergio and I can't stay for dessert either. Why? We're going for a uh, walk. Just go. Good night, Charlie. Jonathan. Good night. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, why? You got a face? I'm not, I'm not making a face. Look, I don't want to be too forward, but can I walk you back to your room? Make sure you're okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's, um, I'd like that. So, this is 
me. Why are you making the face? The face? Yeah, the face you make when you're about to tell me to take out the recycling. Uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna ask you to take out the recycling. But I am wondering if you would be willing to give us another shot? Look, I, I, I know I hurt you before, but Mel, you were really spiraling. I mean, we were supposed to be like this power couple, and instead you were being crushed by the weight of this book, and it felt like it took all my energy to keep you together. Okay, it wasn't that bad. You once walked around the house with a mint stuck to your sweatpants for two days. Oh, that was a lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a, a lollipop then. Look, I am not proud of what I did. I was drowning and I was desperate for air and instead of talking to you about it, I took the coward's way out and I broke up with you. And I'm sorry for that. And if you'd be willing to forgive me and if you'd be willing to take me back, I promise I'll never abandon you again. You know, why don't we just start with you coming in and watching a bad rom-com? Okay. <sighs> but you can't stay. Disgusting. <laughs> Where I'm from, they put bankers in jail. Effective system, really. Jail would be a kindness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't take this anymore. Where are you going? I'm going to slap some sense into my brother. Hmm. Seriously, dude? What? What? Do you have something you want to say? Yes, I have something I want to say. I am this close, this close, to becoming sisters with a famous author, and you're here building a cheap table. I'm setting up for the festival. The festival that's going to determine whether or not we keep this farm. So yes, I'm building a table. Oh, you're like the worst parts of mom and dad glued together. Mel is back together with that off-brand Ken doll. Is that what you want? And don't give me the whole, oh, I'm Ben, I have no emotions, shtick, because that's ridiculous. You know what's ridiculous? All of this, I hate to break it to you, Colleen, but life isn't like one of your stories. There are no heroes, there are no magic potions, and while we're being perfectly honest, there is no such thing as true love. I was stupid to think that there ever could have been anything between Mel and I but that's the real world. It's about time you start living in it. Fine, build your stupid table. See what I care. So are they good? Well, I don't have a problem with them, no. <clears throat> okay, why do I feel like there's a butt coming? But there could be a potential problem with your, shall we say, recreational activities. Are you talking about Jonathan? This is purely, purely professional, but Jonathan has not been a good go. influence again. on you in the past. He's going to be a terrible influence on you again in the future. That's great, Mom. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining the long list of people who think they know what's best for me. Melissa, I am your agent. That is my job to tell you what is best yeah, for you. Yeah, you are also my mom. And maybe for once, you can talk to me like I'm your daughter, like you actually care about me, and not Georgina Cartwell, but me. Okay, you're being a little dramatic. When have you actually ever been there for me? I'm serious, Mom. It is no wonder I've spent my entire childhood racing off into fantasy worlds. Melissa, I... Seriously? You're seriously gonna take that? No, go ahead, take your next meeting. I was going to send it to voicemail, Melissa. Babe, what's wrong? What, nothing. Okay, can everyone... Just give me like a little bit of space. Okay, you backing up? Backing I'm up. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm just, I just had a fight with Susanna, like worse than usual. Well, you want me to 
put a movie on? Maybe see if I could get us a tub of ice cream from somewhere? No. No, I, I still have like a fifth of the book to write and two days to do it, so I really need to focus. No distractions. Including me? I'm not trying to be mean, but I have a word count to hit. No, no, no. I, I get it. You're a strong, independent woman. I didn't mean that sarcastically. I, I like the new Mel, really. I'm still the same me. Hey, look, I, I promise we can we can watch a movie before bed. A little help? Hey, man. Need a hand? No, actually, it's... Hey, do you know how many times I helped Melissa move? Don't worry, I got this. All right, where are we going with these? Just follow me. All right, so what's the plan, man? Are we gonna like set them up around the table or we... All right, can we get real for a second? What do you mean? I mean, can we talk about why you've been acting so weird lately? This Harvest Festival, it's... It's a cute idea, really, but it is stressing you out, man. And what for? Is it really going to make a difference to your bottom line? Is it going to improve sales? Is it going to impress me so much I go back to my boss and tell him to reapprove the loan? That was the plan. Look, look it's, it's not a bad plan. Don't get me wrong. But an easier plan, a better plan, sell the land. Take the check, man. Your margins are awful, and the work, it's, it's backbreaking. Not to mention your product is at the whim of a million little beetles. Flies. Sure. Why worry about all of that? Sell the farm, man. Take the money. The land will still be here. And it's just going to have a bunch of little houses and condos on it. I'm going to go grab some more chairs. You think about it, OK? What We Build by Colleen Pulley. I like that. She hid from her work, but not because the work was difficult. She was a sculptor and she loved nothing more than putting her chisel to stone, transforming rock into living effigy. That was the easy part. The hard part was what would happen when she finished, when she would stare at the stony face of her creation and see herself reflected in its alabaster eyes. Couldn't sleep either. Couldn't sleep, couldn't work. All I could do is think about what you said to me. Mom, I... Listen, I am not mad. I'm not mad at all. Join me. You know what's sad? I can't remember the last time I properly sat down to look at the stars. All this running around distracting myself with work when all this beauty's right in front of me and all I had to do was look up. We're not really talking about the sky, are we? You know you got your writing genes for me, right? Melissa, I am so sorry. I have been a terrible mother and I have not been there for you. I mean, this whole on the clock, off the clock rule, it was just, it's ridiculous. It's not like I can turn off being a mother like the notifications on my phone. I am so sorry. 
Mom, look, you really don't need to apologize. I shouldn't have freaked out on you. And you have been a good mom. <laughs> yes, you have. Mostly. <laughs> it's just sometimes I wish maybe you were a little less harsh. That is fair. <laughs> that is fair. When I was young, I spent so much time feeling lost, and I did not want that for you. So I pushed you, and I, I pushed you too hard. No. I did, and I am sorry for that as well. I mean, honestly, sometimes I need some direction. Okay, let me, is that referencing Ben or Jonathan by chance? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe both? Well, here's what I do know. I have spent the last 30 years trying to manage your life, and I think it's high time I let you make your own decisions. Besides, you're the writer. You know how to end your own love story. I like the star thing better. So, this is where Mr. Ben is hiding. I'm worried about you, my friend. You don't seem well. Yeah, what tipped it off? You're eating cake. You don't eat cake. Come, the festival is starting soon and we have work to do. We need you. What's the point? I feel like the olives in there. Crushed and ground up, squeezed and blood dry. Man, olives, who cares about such things? In the end, everything needs love. Alexi, I messed up. I don't deserve your help, and I definitely don't deserve Mel. Mm. Well, luckily for you, I wasn't talking about the love between a man and a woman. Come, follow me. What are we doing here, Alexi? Look up, my friend. You'll see. How did you? By driving all night to the closest 24-hour print shop. Colleen, I am so sorry about the other day. I, I was angry, and I lashed out, and I didn't mean any of it. OK, whatever. I didn't realize how much Mel meant to me and how much losing her was going to hurt. But in the process, I almost lost something even more special, my sister. And I don't ever want that to happen again. Okay, Ben, shut up. We don't have time for this, dude. I know you're twisted up about Mel. Literally everyone knows. But right now, we're three hours away from the start of the festival and we have to get this place ready. It doesn't matter if we get the recommendation from Georgina Cartwell or not. We can do this without her. But first, we have to finish setting up. We need you. Okay. Okay, uh, we're gonna need flower arrangements for all the tables. Uh, Alexi, I need you to get roses from the garden and olive branches from the grove. Colleen, go get cow's parsley anywhere you can find it. Got it? Okay, all right, we got this, people. Let's go. I was thinking we could jet home after this little shindig. You sure you don't wanna come? Mm-hmm. Babe. What's wrong? I'm almost done. And? I just need to figure out how it ends. All right, well, that shouldn't be too hard. You're Georgina Cartwell. But I'm not. You get that, right? I, I am like the sculptor in Colleen's story. I am too scared to make anything out of fear that people will actually see me for who I really am, not Georgina Cartwell. Jonathan, we were together three years. I was crushed under the weight of Georgina for three years. How could you not see that? No, I, I had- Okay. Do you even want me for me? <laughs> I can't do this. Where are you going? I am the author of my life, and I'm choosing how my love story ends. Okay, sorry, uh, well, first I do have to finish that chapter and then put on a dress and, and then I'm choosing how my love story ends. I think you're gonna need to make a 
speech about now. A speech? Why? Because I know what happens when you disappoint a fandom. Trust me, I want to handle this carefully. It can't be that bad. Can it? Just let them down gently. Try starting with a joke. Fancy seeing you here. Uh, so I've been thinking, I am going to wind down my work with my daughter. And I'm not going to be her agent anymore, and I'm just going to be her mom. Maybe take on smaller clients. And... But I thought maybe in between that big change, I would, um, I don't know, go somewhere, you know, without my phone or pages. I should go somewhere. That I could just pick flowers. And um, you know, enjoy the moments as they come. It just so happens. I know of an achingly beautiful little village in Tuscany. You do? Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, everyone. Hi, I am Ben Pulley, the owner of Babbling Brook Farm. I don't know if you guys have been following the news recently, but it, well, it turns out the dairy cows, they're about to go on strike, refusing to make any more milk. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I think it's utter nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's funny. Uh, <clears throat> um. <sighs> Stupid shoes. Uh, okay, so before we kick off this harvest festival, I have a quick announcement to make about our guest of honor. Regina Cartwell. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, actually, Miss Cartwell is not going to make it today. I, look, I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. It's okay. No, just... Stop. It's, no. it's fun. Stop, 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 stop. Ooh, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Mel, what are you doing I'm here? I'm so sorry. I know that this is ooh, definitely not the right time, but I just I needed to let you know that Jonathan and I broke up. Oh, and that your sister is a stupidly good writer, like annoyingly good, and that I think I really, really like you. Okay, that felt good. Okay. <clears throat> Wish me luck. Good luck. Everyone? Hi. Sorry, um, I have an announcement to make. Georgina Cartwell is dead. <gasps> oh, no, 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 not like that, not like that. Um, oh, you don't need to film this, really. What I meant is, Georgina Cartwell never existed. She was the messed up projection of a slightly lazy, slightly insecure writer. Uh, me, Melissa D. But Ben made me realize that I don't need to be afraid to show the world who I really am. Which brings me to my second, second, yeah, second, second, second. second announcement which is that the third and final book of the Moonlight Magic Trilogy was completed during my stay here at the Babbling Brook Farm. Yeah. And I will be publishing it under my real name. Thank you for your time. Oh, 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 and the name was Melissa D. D-E-E. That's my daughter! Woo! Thanks, Mom! Okay, seriously, Colleen, you are insanely talented. 
writer. Oh, I'm still processing the fact that Georgina co No, that Melissa D likes my work. Are you kidding? I love it. I mean, seriously, I think maybe one more draft and then you're definitely gonna get it published. Although you are gonna need a really good agent. I am so oh, proud of you. <laughs> okay, mom, I want you to meet Colleen. This is Ben's sister. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Colleen also happens to have a killer short story that I think you'd love. Well, that's quite a recommendation. Actually, I am considering taking on the smaller clients these days. Mm -hmm. I would that's love to read what you have. Yeah, that'd be wonderful. Hey, Great. Tomorrow, right? yeah. I can email them to you. I have at least like five short stories ready to go. It was a lot like you when I was younger. I, I can't believe that. No, really. When I was a young man, my father died and left my family with nothing but a fishing boat. I was told we would not make it. But I persisted. Because when you love something, it is worth fighting for. So, if you're looking for funding, look no further. I will not tear down your trees. I will not put up houses. I will invest in your future, knowing full well that good results are the product of time and discipline. I don't know what to say. Then say nothing. scared that if I stopped talking that people might start laughing. Mel, uh, ben, I... Um, I... You go first. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about everything that I said. I don't care about Georgina Cartwell at all. I care about you. Well, um, I don't know if you've heard, but... Tina Carpel's dead. Yeah, apparently I killed her. Mm. <laughs> Would you like to dance? With you? Always. 